I have no idea what I just watched. Is Disney getting a new land? Why are Disney fans so mad? And what the heck did we just watch? This is just one of them, but I love this one. D23 Expo is a fan expo that happens every two years and fans' expectations were high. Fans have seemingly been more frustrated with CEO Bob Chapek and the Walt Disney Company, and this was the moment they hoped that would redeem the last few years. On September 11, 2022, the chairman of the Disney Parks Experience and Products, Josh Nemiro, took the stage and did a fun song and dance promising big announcements, and by the end of it made us collectively say, what? But before we get into that, there were a lot of cool, I guess the word cool works. It's something that I like to refer to as true Bayou magic. Uh, we're getting the e-ticket ride at Disneyland, some cool meet and greets with the Mandalorian and Grogu, and, and the massive Hulk costume. There's a cruise ship coming. Something that was notable to me and the showstopper was when Josh Demaro brought out Walt Disney Imagineering's Chris Beatty and Walt Disney Animation Studios' Jennifer Lee to talk about some blue sky ideas. And yes, I just did air quotes when I said that. And Demaro was very quick to warn people that this was blue sky thinking and conceptual thinking and they were nowhere near completion or deciding. I just want to say that, that he, he stressed it a few times and said the word maybe a lot. <laughs> Like a lot. So we know that Dinoland USA is being overhauled and has been a construction pit. So this one was easy to start with and they shared their ideas for what this land could be. Okay, look, we're gonna show you this. It's, it's big, it's beautiful, it's over the top. Now Zootopia and Moana have a weird marriage in this concept art and it makes, well, I'm not, I'm not really sure what it makes, but honestly, it just feels like ideas being thrown at the wall. And then Damaro quickly focused next on what could be beyond Big Thunder Mountain, as he called it. An excited crowd listened as they detailed some serious conceptual ideas for adding Encanto and Coco worlds into the Magic Kingdom, as well as a long rumored land featuring villains, which got an exciting cheer from the crowd because the fan community has been talking about this for a long time. But then the panel ended and I sat there thinking, what just happened? Disney blogs and YouTube channels quickly published saying, new lands are announced. Here we go, it's coming. And I'm, ju I'm just going to say this, these lands as we saw them, they will never happen. Now I'm speaking on behalf of myself here in Epic Diz, why don't you go ahead and subscribe? But I believe Disney was letting us in on their process versus showing us what they're actually going to make. There's a lot of pressure from the public and theme park community for them to have a response to Universal's epic universe, which is rapidly becoming closer to completion. Now at the last D23, we had announcements that were big and glorious and quite frankly, they just never happened. It might be safe to say they won't be happening. And instead of coming out with bold, new, way too early announcements that they're just gonna cancel, they elected to essentially announce nothing. Tomorrow and team didn't want to give us the illusion that nothing is happening though, so I think they concocted this what if scenario to show fans that while there might be nothing concrete, they are in fact taking expansion and planning very, very seriously. Listen, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but we're not gonna see a Magic Kingdom or Animal Kingdom expansion in the ways they showed us on stage. It didn't make sense, it was convoluted, there was no theming to it. it, it it's a very early conceptualization and we know Disney, they like to do it well. But I do think we will see something eventually. It might not feel like a lot and it might disappoint you, but Disney got a lot of egg on their face by having to scrap previous announcements. And they're still recovering from some very weird years. And quite frankly, I think this is the moment that fans have some decisions to make. Do you keep rewarding Disney with your money and Genie Plus purchases? Or do you walk away for a bit and vote with your dollar? That might be a hard thing to face because you do love going to the parks, but if you want to see change, the thing that talks is dollars. I'm not discouraged by this panel, which really said nothing, but I want it to be right and not rushed. Who would want them to just cram in incohesive lands in behind Big Thunder Mountain because they can? At the same time, I understand why fans are upset, but at the end of the day, Disney is a business and it's designed to make money and answer to its shareholders. Our vote has to be with our dollars or nothing will change. And look, I get it, change can be tough. And popular YouTube vlogger Molly McCormick left all ears to start her own company and this video will show you why that matters.